Welcome back. Does it sound familiar? You lose a key, you find a locksmith. Well, until recently, that's all we could have done. But recent news stories have called attention to new technology and websites where keys are duplicated. Just a click of a camera. Local 15 web content specialist Taryn Reed joins us now with the pros and the cons of the Key Lock app. Hi, Taryn. Hi, Kelly. There are concerns about this process of sending a photo of your key to a locksmith and then making a copy for you. Some say it's easy for thieves to snap a photo and boom, they have your house key. Here's how it works. You email, fax, even upload to a website, any form of communication, a photo of your key, send it to the company. It could be your front door house key, your car key, whatever you choose. The company then turns around and makes the keys for you. You can come by and pick them up or have the company hand deliver it to you. The website says they require credit cards and will only accept clear pictures, but even they admit they don't verify that it's your key or even your credit card. You send it in and you get a key duplicated for, I think, $6. They send it to you. We've been doing it for, for years because sometimes somebody just does not want to come across town, of course, to uh, bring a key to be duplicated. Locksmiths say there is only one way to prevent anyone from duplicating keys. Patented locks have special grooves with unique designs. While it can cost up to four times as much for one of those, locksmiths say those kind of keys are impossible to copy without authorization. This scares me. It's convenient, and I think that's what people like about it, but you don't realize that, you, I mean, Convenient for who? For people that don't want to get, get out and or take their key to wherever you take it and get a copy. Or for those who want your key. Right. Yeah, I'm not, uh -uh. I don't, don't. it'll be interesting to see what your viewers yes. say. Because they mm -hmm. always have good stuff to say about you. Thanks, Karen.